Hello everyone, I would like to talk about dating with disability. So, last night I wanted to show you my experiences of attending to a local dating seminar with the relationship and coaching um, expert. Um, it was really, really underwhelming and I feel that there was nothing to talk about there uh, was an awareness in general of, kind of people with disability or someone having the identity in a group in that. Um, but I thought that we didn't have the conversation talking about like a particular um, identity in the conversation with somebody like why you are different. When, when you're looking for someone, it could be really, really challenging. So it's really the question here, is it dating with disability? Is it such a big deal breaker for a lot of able-bodied people around the world? Um, what I thought of that, uh, how did it be a big deal breaker? Because it that where we had to be the same with them, so it helped them and I'm understand. The, the dating coach, who I've been spoken last night, saying that, oh yeah, we got the empathy because you've got to learn about understanding the other person. But the coaching is a little bit cold in some approach because it, it's talking about the general mainstream yeah, aspect of that, like how you pick up flirt and then you pick up um, the body language and all that. Okay, this is great. Uh, I know, it's great skill to learn about. Of course, that will help you to find somebody you fall in love with or someone you want to go on a date and, and so on, whatever this life takes. But when you come to the point about um, talking along the um, attraction, um, attachment or lust as the part of love. So, um, but with the dating coach, say, oh, there are only three particular areas saying that that's how people pick up. But it's talking nothing about empathy. Empathy is really, really important because I'm um, having disability, it's very, very struggling to navigate to finding someone to go to, on a date with or someone on that you ride to get on long, find somebody to be with you. It's really, really daunting experience because it's, it doesn't teach them about empathy. I'm, I'm really scared about because the people in my generation, and the millennials, are a little bit less empathic than the previous generation because we're standing on a te te technology, standing on a phone, no eye contact, all that kind of stuff. The dating coach mentioned a little bit about that, but it doesn't talk about the social thinking. They did no particular aspect about how you connect with somebody who looks different or or some disability and individual so acting differently because of their disability. So they don't have awareness in that. So there is a lot of dating relationship coaches, so called experts around the world. You're going to a meetup group and your local seminar group that might be affiliated with the local community organization or who is independent. They're everywhere. They are feel cold and they're feeding out a lot of misinformation because they're not understanding to the general diversity of society. It doesn't talk about why people are different. And that's really shocking me, especially last night when I saw someone else in the room looking at me because I'm the only one person with disability and everybody like, is it passionate or compassionate or is it inspiring for them? No one have to, any kind of it to talk out to me and be like, hello, it was really great to talk to you about that and something to pick up. There's no empathy in the room for the whole time. And because the dating coach and all the other people around the world doesn't talk to you about that. That's just the big question. So I say dating coach and experience fails people with disability because it's no empathy. It doesn't tell you why and how you gotta to learn to understand the difference. So we're going to take someone who's been friendship because you're learning about attachment because the the common interests and values and that's bit about life that help you bring together, build a team. Uh, money beaten or whatever you go as friends. A dating coach is all I talk about the love part. It's nothing about friend. Because people in the room are like, oh, I fell in love with somebody at first sight or 
and I had sex on a third day, or oh, no, I had someone on the second day, just very straight away. It's very ordinary and extremely mainstream stereotype, and it's it could extremely typical as well, and it doesn't really tell you behind the scene, so you have no chance to talk about like life, life, like why I'm different, why you're different. We gotta learn about the it's a society to communicate should got be two different ways. And it is it's really damaging to my reputation. I was talking to raising awareness and disability occupy about why they're different. Because the the mainstream side of society is dismissing of information. It doesn't think in their world they fit in their world. The world is all in one and it is extremely stigmatizing and stereotypical and it does not let them have a chance to explore whatever everyone so first of all without thinking about like how our mainstream security and system failed accessibility social inclusion all that kind of stuff that was people and everything thinking and not with an awareness so, uh, my last few years, uh, I have really struggled in finding a date with somebody because people in my network, we don't share the same values and empathy, that's where it comes in attachment. But when you come into the attraction part, or the last part as well, it's very hard to get there. It's not it's because I have a disability, it's because the empathy it was the biggest play in that area. So that's why they couldn't get onto that area about, oh, oh I don't know, it could be mothering or caring about you so it's really really offensive you know so that's where the dating coach does really teach you that it's actual breeding sending out a plague of misinformation that will make a lot of people learn in the same way as everybody else and not really teaching them about inclusivity so i'm gonna say i'm really really disappointed i just really want to spread out this message it's so super important because how we can fit with, with no point to single out somebody because they are different we all deserve love romance and experience it equally and so that's really important i want to give you a bit of thought about this of why these experts are they actually there for because they are making money it's coating on people and it's branding themselves in that that's not a very inclusive way. And it's not how gonna help out getting out there and people to learn about something different. So I hope this message is give you really inspiring. I really hope it is spread it out and then same I'm looking forward to your commenting feedback and the digestion. Alright, thank you.